Okay, so we just got into Boston to our hotel. We're staying at the Bostonian and we're going to Fenway tonight. So we come into our room and we had no idea that we booked a room like this. Okay, so here's the door right here. You come in, there is stairs. I've never seen a hotel room like this before. So there's a, a desk here, full length mirror, stairs. <laughs> And then the bed. Okay. TV's over here. There's a chair there. And then there's the bathroom in here. Like, this is such a cool room. It's a little vanity table. Which is funny because, like, what is that, like 15 feet? Boston is everybody honking at each other. What's up? Yeah, over there. I did a little bit of self care today because I needed it. Long story short, we had a really fun kind of like end of the summer, and um, I had family visiting from texas my aunt and my uncle man that stuff is really sticky i'm using this primer the elf power grip primer with four percent nice niacinamide i also have this one but my mom gave me this one because she got it in an ipsy bag and she wasn't gonna use it so i wanted to try it while this is soaking in basically i just wanted to come on here and say hey i know some of you said you missed the vlogs where are the vlogs um so i'm gonna start one today i don't think it's gonna be a daily vlog i think i'm gonna put a few days I have, a, I have an extremely, extremely busy day today. So I'm gonna go ahead and rush and get ready. <laughs> um, I did skincare, shower, I put some dry shampoo in. Um, I whitened my teeth today. They're not gonna look super white right now. They'll look white in a couple days. It's weird how it works. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup um, kind of on the natural side, something that hopefully will last throughout the day. I already have my outfit picked out, so it's a it's a busy real estate day. I have an open house that I'm hosting from 11 to one. It is 10 o'clock now. And then I have four showings later after that. So after the open house, I'm gonna come home, have some lunch, and then I have to be at my showing, my first showing at 4.30 and I'll be doing showings until 6.30, but then it's gonna take me like an hour to drive home. So I'll be home around seven-ish, 7.30. Um, but yeah, before I do my makeup, let me show you real quick. I just went to Sephora, guys. We were in Boston. Um, oh, like I was saying before, long story short, we had super fun this past week. We went to a Nickelback slash Brantley Gilbert concert. It was amazing. I put some videos on my TikTok and on my other social medias, there's pictures from the concert. It was so much fun. Amazing to all the Nickelback haters. I don't want to hear it. I have loved them since I was young, since their first album came out. I begged my father to buy me the Silver Side Up. Uh, CD and I listen to that thing front to back front to back front to back. I love Nickelback. Okay, so I don't want to hear it It was iconic and then we went to Fenway for a Red Sox game and that was my first time going to Fenway um, I had been to Boston. I had looked at Fenway. I had never been there for a game. So that was really cool, too uh, And like I said, we did that with my family who was here in town We also went to Hampton Beach last week which was super fun and we've just done a lot of crazy fun stuff now it is time to get back to the grind and get back on schedule the kids go back to school not next week but the week after and i'm so ready to be in a routine that was i tried to make the long story short this is what i picked up for my birthday present at sephora because sephora always lets you pick it up early my birthday is not till november 7th but this is the ilia um little package so it has multi-stick which is this little baby right here. And you can use it for like your cheeks, your lips. And I was like, you know, I wanna get into like products that you can have for dual use that are more natural. And I really liked the color of it. Super pretty, right? So I got that. And then I also got the Limitless Mascara came in it. And you know what? I used to only, only use waterproof mascara, but um, my mom gave me a little sample of a regular mascara. I can't remember which brand it is and I have to get going, but um, I wanted to get this because I do like wearing, oh, that's a really nice brush. I do like wearing 
a regular mascara when I know that I only need makeup on for a little bit of time or if I'm doing something natural and I don't want to have to fight to like get it off of my eyes. So yeah, that's my little birthday gift I got. Then the only other thing I got while I was there is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I have never owned a full size of this. I've had a sample before many, many years ago, but you know, I am really struggling with my makeup staying in place, not transferring, not creasing. Um, I'm having trouble with sweat. It's been super humid. And so I just wanted to try this. This is like the number one setting spray, like the highest recommended. You look anywhere, this is what they recommend. I got the regular one, not the oily one because it is gonna be fall soon and we're gonna get into winter and I get drier. So I just got the regular formula. I'm gonna use it for the first time today in many, many years and I'm very excited. So I'll show you guys what I look like when I'm all done. Hello, hello. It is much, much later. Um, as I said, I was I have a super busy day today, so I like didn't even vlog in between. I literally didn't have time, but it's all right because I'm probably gonna extend this vlog over a couple of days. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to show you the scenery. So I am so sad. I thought I was recording. There was like this lake or this pond over here and it wasn't recording. I'm so sad. Ah, it's so gorgeous out here, you guys. It literally looks unreal out here. So I believe I'm in Petersham. The houses are humongous. The ones I've been passing by. We didn't look at a house in here, but I'm just like on my way to another it's the last showing that we're doing and it's actually, an, it was an hour away from the third showing. This is the fourth one we're going to, which is our last one of the tour today. I just love exploring. I, I love exploring new towns and I love this job because I just get to see a lot of beautiful places and you know, I never would have seen them otherwise. So it is the next day, it's actually Monday, and um, I got right away to work this morning. I had some stuff to do on the computer. I actually woke up at 6.30 today. I was trying to wake up at six this morning because I'm trying to get back on a schedule because my kids start school um, next week. So I'm trying to get us back on a schedule. We've been waking up at like 7.30. Mila is going to middle school this year and she's gonna have to wake up at like, I think 5.30 if I'm not mistaken, which is super early, like it's crazy, right? Um, but they have different start times for like elementary, middle school, high school. And um, her bus just comes really, really early and they start a lot earlier. So I'm trying to get us to up there, but Oh my gosh, it's been so hard, you guys. I had a natural alarm clock, like an internal alarm clock before the school year ended last year. I had an internal alarm clock at 6.30. I would just wake up no matter what at 6.30, which was awesome. And it has been so hard for me to get back on schedule now. Oh my gosh, I'm like all out of whack. So the earliest I was able to wake up for the past few weeks is like 7.30, which is late. Like that's honestly late. It's even late for elementary school. So, yep, we woke up at 6.30 today. Uh, baby steps, we're gonna get there. Um, if you're struggling getting back on a schedule, let me know down below. <laughs> I'm a struggling girl, but I figured um, I just have to like make myself get up and then I'm gonna be tired from waking up early and then hopefully I can go to bed earlier so that it won't be as bad in the morning. So eventually I'll get there. Um, in my background, I have this little tapestry if you're wondering what that is i had a crazy rager halloween party a few years back in texas um at the house we owned in austin texas and um i bought this as like a backdrop for my garage i made my garage into like a haunted house it was awesome but i have started decorating for Halloween with the kids. That's what we've been doing for fun. Usually I like to vlog about it, but I didn't this year. 
Um, but I will, once everything is done, um, I will show you guys the decorations that I have in my house for the fall slash Halloween season, spooky season. To be honest, it's mostly spooky stuff, but in the kitchen, it's a little more geared towards just fall neutral. And I really, I need to go eat something because I haven't eaten breakfast or lunch yet. Um, but I first want to show you a haul. I'm so excited for this, you guys. I ordered Crocs for the whole family. Crocs were on sale for back to school. And then they also sent me a coupon because I get the emails from Crocs. Now, we love Crocs in this household, okay? So don't judge, okay? Some people don't like them and that's totally fine, do you? We, Me and the kids, we have sensory issues. So with the sensory issues, the Crocs just work best with us. It, it you know, it just has such a comfortable fit and I also ordered hubby some Crocs he's gonna try them he doesn't know if he's gonna like them but he tried on his friend's pair of Crocs and he was like oh man those are actually comfortable so we're gonna try them these are the ones I got for hubby they're camo I mean he said if I was ever gonna wear a Croc this would be the only one I'd wear <laughs> so I got the, uh, these for him it's the real tree um Croc and these these look really nice actually and they're gonna match like all of his clothes because he's got tons of black and camo and that's almost all he wears so yeah pretty straightforward next ones i got are for miss mila and i got all of the sale ones like i didn't get the full price i got everything sale so i just chose the best colors i could choose that was in the sale but these are actually really cute you guys they have little sparkles on them it's like mostly a pink and I would say like a silver and a blue sparkle. And it has like a little um, purple thing here. So these are the ones I got for Mila. I'll show you guys mine last. These ones I got for Mr. Austin. These are really awesome. These are the Baya clogs. So Mila has the regular clogs. And then these ones I got for Austin were the Baya clogs, I believe, where it says Crocs on the side. I thought these were super nice. Right now, he's got a navy blue pair of, like, knockoffs. Um, he wears them, like, all the time, like, every single day. So I thought um, this kind of blue would be nice because the navy blue almost looks black. Um, and this is a brighter blue and he's got tons of clothes with this color on it and he loves Sonic and he loves Bluey. So he asked for a color like this and luckily they had this one on sale. So the only difference between this and the classic is that it says Crocs on the side and it kind of has these little ridges here. So yeah, those are really nice. And the prices you guys, um, with the discounts I got, I want to say each of them were like 25 bucks, which is really good because normally they're about what like 40 to 50 dollars per so these are mine and these are also the baya clogs like the ones i got austin i i have the classic clog right now in just the black color i got them last year for myself as a birthday present they're like a spooky i made them as a spooky season crock um but these are like a tan color it says a yeah, cobblestone is the color so it's like a tan color and i actually have a rain jacket that matches this exactly so i was like oh my gosh i love it and i just wanted a neutral color to go with like lighter colored outfits because i have the black ones but if i'm wearing a super light colored outfit black crocs don't go with that so i just wanted a neutral that would go with like any other colors that black does not go with i feel like this is it right here again the color color is cobblestone and um this is what it looks like as i said with the baya they have the little ridges there and then it says crocs on the side and you guys i got these in a size eight this time because the black crocs that i have are a size nine and i have like this much room at the back of the heel when i lost weight i think my foot got smaller and so i'm hopefully gonna fit perfectly into a size eight because the other ones are really loose okay so i put them on regular and then i put them on sports mode and i walked around to see they do fit perfectly, but they fit so perfectly that I think I feel weird because I'm so used to my Crocs being like too big that I like, I'm like, do they fit? Like this is, this, it's weird that it fits like perfectly. Like my toes are not squished. They're not hitting the front. They're not uncomfortable, but it fits so perfectly. I'm like, oh my gosh, are they too small? <laughs> Cause I'm telling you guys, I literally have like this much room behind my heel when I wear um, my nines. So yeah, 
they they definitely they definitely fit and it's just an adjustment thing these are really comfortable super happy and i'm really happy i got these on super sale the total of the four crocs would have originally been 190 dollars but i paid 106 dollars